everyone's a hypochondriac now because there's so many medicines being advertised on TV. And don't they sound good until they get to the side effects? <laughs> and they say them so quickly in such an even tone, I'm not even sure what I heard. You'll have your hair forever. May cause your ass to bleed in public. <laughs> I, had, I had a blood test recently. Turns out I have high cholesterol. Luckily, it's balanced out by low self-esteem. <laughs> so I've been taking low steamer. And I also have too much vitamin D. I'm, all, I'm taking Hydema. <laughs> but if you take Hydema with low steema, it may cause your ass to bleed in public. <laughs> and my favorite new advertisement for a drug on TV is that one for the antidepressant that causes you to commit suicide. Have you seen that one? <laughs> might have left the laboratory a little bit too early. And Ambi in that sleeping pill, studies have shown people have walked in their sleep, talked in their sleep, cooked in their sleep, and cleaned in their sleep. I am gonna take that sleeping pill. I need to get more done. <laughs> so many drug ads, I'm beginning to think there are things wrong with me that I've been previously unaware of. I saw an ad for female Viagra. I didn't know there was anything on me that should be standing up. <laughs> and I don't want to see any more ads for Cialis till they explain why couples must use separate bathtubs. <laughs> Does that make any sense to you once they drag the tubs up to the top of the mountain? Aren't they too tired to have sex? <laughs> and sex after 60 can be quite challenging. Between my bad back and his bad knees, it hurts and feels good at the same time. <laughs> That's not to say we're not highly experimental, because we are. This year, yes. This year, we're going to attempt to achieve simultaneous colonoscopies. <laughs> And last week, we did have a surprise sexual encounter. It was so exciting, it was at 2 a.m. when we bumped into each other on the way to the bathroom. <laughs> but things change. The meaning of words change. Getting lucky changes. In your 20s, getting lucky, meeting someone you're attracted to. In your 40s, getting lucky, finding a parking space. <laughs> In your 60s, getting lucky, threading a needle. <laughs> Good in bed, the meaning of that changes too. You know what, my husband? It's fantastic in bed. He stays very, very still, and he doesn't snore. And when I was in New York, I met this guy that I'm pretty sure hates women, or he's just mad at us right now. Cause like, he came up to me out of the blue and was like, uh, yeah, 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 no offense, but I don't think female comedians are funny. I was like, oh, <laughs> pat. I was like, oh, um, okay, that's cool. You do you, homie. <laughs> and I think he got mad that I didn't get mad because then he went on to say, yeah, because like, even when I'm playing video games, I don't pick none of the girl characters because they just not as good. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we're not even talking about stand-up comedy anymore. <laughs> And like, I'm not a big gamer, you know? Like, I don't own any of the consoles. Like, I had the old original Nintendo back in the day. Right? When all you needed was up, down, left, right, A, B, start, select. You know what I'm saying? Like, I learned how to duck hunt. And I would cheat, too. Walk right up to the screen, like, boom. 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 Well, who gonna stop me? <laughs> if that little dog would laugh at me, I'd shoot him too. Boom. <laughs> I was running track on that little mat thing that came with it. Remember that little mat? Doing hurdles. 
where I got my training. <laughs> if something was broke, all you had to do to fix it was blow on it. Ladies, you ever wake up in the morning and uh, you do your hair and your makeup and then you look in the mirror and you're like, hmm, <laughs> that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like your hair came out wrong. You did your makeup all weird for some reason. You're like, since when do I wear pink eyeshadow and glitter at 10 a.m.? <laughs> You try to fix it by putting more and more makeup on your face, so by the end you just look like a drag queen. <laughs> or one of the girls that works at MAC Makeup. <laughs> and you're running late to work, so you can't take it all off and start over. You're like, oh well, I guess I'm going to work as Lady Gaga today. <laughs> I'm like, whatever, I was born this way. I know a lot about dating because I watch a lot of dates. <laughs> that sounds creepy. I host a dating show. So I've learned a lot about men and women and their interactions. And one important thing that I've learned is that when you like someone and you want to impress them, what do you do? You lie. <laughs> you have to. Because if people knew how weird you were in your off time, no one would have you. <laughs> Guy says to you, what do you like to do for fun? Girls, you can't be honest. You can't be honest about that shit. You can't be honest about what you were doing 10 minutes before you came to the door. <laughs> you have to lie. What do you like to do for fun? You can't tell him. You can't be like, I really enjoy choreographing naked cheerleading routines to old Britney Spears CDs, and then I Google a bunch of hentai porn, masturbate, don't wash my hands, Facebook stalk my ex-boyfriend and his ex-girlfriends, jot down their place of employment for future reference, and then I go bake some cookies, and then I mouth kiss my dog and promise her that one day she'll be my wife. You can't say that. <laughs> Nine times out of 10, Guy asks a girl, what do you like to do for fun? The girl's answer will be, hiking. <laughs> I love hiking, I do, I do, don't I? I do, I love hiking. <laughs> I do, hiking's, <laughs> I love hiking. <laughs> I do, I love it, I love hiking. No, you don't, stop lying. You don't like, really, Stacy? you like hiking? Where are your trail spikes? Where's your walking stick? Where's your lesbian mountain partner? You don't like hiking. You don't even know what hiking is. Most modern girls don't really know what hiking is, okay? To the average girl, hiking is you wake up whenever you want, you put on Lululemon yoga pants because they make your butt look unreasonably good, as they should for 800 fucking dollars. <laughs> and you go for a walk in the park with your best friend and complain about how hungover you are. That's hiking. <laughs> yeah, I do it too. I promise you this, girls, it's not a sport if you can drink a Starbucks and have a pita while you're doing it. Do you want a piece of pita? Mm, hiking. But there's a method to our madness. There's a reason women say hiking. We say hiking because we think guys like hiking. That's why we're doing it. We'll be outside where the bugs are. No, I think you like that. We're taught to believe that men are outdoorsy and rugged and they like nature. As far as we're concerned, you're the closest thing we know to a bear. <laughs> So we say hiking, hoping to have something in common with you. We honestly say hiking, hoping that you'll be like, you like hiking? I like hiking. Marry me. <laughs> it's the easiest thing you can say that you do. It's one of the only outdoor activities that you can lie and say that you do it, having never done it before, and then do it and pull it off because it's walking. <laughs> you can't pull that off. You shouldn't be mating with anyone. You can't, most outdoor activities require a decent amount of skill. For example, you can't say you like rock climbing if you've never been rock climbing. I mean, you can, but I promise you this, you're gonna go, you're gonna slip, you're gonna get your hand caught in a rock, 127 hours later. <laughs> Stump's not getting you a second date, I promise you that. 
I don't know if girls want to hear this, but the truth is 90% of the activities that women engage in revolve around getting a guy's attention, okay? And it's just the way we're built biologically. This is just something we do. We love to get your attention. It's part of the sport of it, all right? You think I go to a sports bar because I like warm beer and sticky bar stools? No, I go because there's guys there. You think I do a pub crawl every year because I like it when my liver hurts? No, I go because there's guys there. We don't wear heels for our circulation. We do it to prop up our butts so you'll look at me and want to mate with me. That's why we do it. This isn't a fucking game, all right? This isn't a push-up bra, it's body armor. And this ain't makeup, sweetheart, it's war paint. Let's make a baby.